Hang on. It's just reconnected on another. On another stream. God's sake. OBS didn't reconnect in time. Should be back live. Oh, I'm going to wait for someone to confirm. Can someone confirm in chat that we're live? Gans the UK, welcome back on Twitch. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. It disconnected for a brief second and OBS couldn't couldn't reconnect in time. OBS couldn't reconnect in time. Let me see if I can get a link to post to the other chat. OBS couldn't reconnect in time. Copy and paste. There's a the link. YouTube up again now. Sweet. Uh, yeah, connection dropped for a brief minute. It's not even dropping frames, it just dropped the connection completely. Sorry about that, everyone. Unfortunately, nothing I could do. Um, it just literally dropped the connection. You didn't miss anything. I'm just still unscrewing this. Sorry about that. I need to get my... Uh, I need to get my chat back now. Well, my YouTube chat. Uh... <laughs> OBS took all the toys out of the sandbox and went home. Sounds about right. Any idea of an issue with this one? Uh, well, this PS4, mate, it's just a damaged power supply connector. Didn't miss much, I haven't actually unscrewed it. Check you got my donation. Um, I don't think I did. Was it through tips or was it through... Um, what do you call it? Um, super Chat. Uh, if it's through Super Chat, it won't actually show me, mate. Oh, yeah, I did. Andrew, thank you for the fiver, mate. There you go. Thank you, mate. It, it showed up on my uh, OBS chat. So I've got two two chats. I've got one on OBS and I've got another one. What's the best UV for curing solder mask? Um, any UV light, but I, I use a 405 nanometer um, UV pen. Uh, if you just type in 405NM laser on eBay, you'll find the one I use. Um, it's not the greatest, but it's, it's cheap and it works. Yeah, thank you for the donation, uh, and to Ryan as well. I appreciate both of you. What's caps on the low voltage side of the power supply? Um, oh, nice. Oh, sweet. So you managed to track it down then. Nice. Yeah, I've got one, I've got one here. I've got my, uh, brother-in-law's 65-inch TV to fix. That's a backlight issue, though. Uh, I might try and do a video on it. I've got no chance of doing a live stream because... Oh, damn it. I've just dropped a screw. I've got no chance of doing a live stream because uh, 
Obviously, I can't even get the TV up here. I'll have to take it apart downstairs. I might try and do a video on it, though, if I can. You know, just before taking it apart and after. Um, and then bring the backlight up here to repair. Um, I don't normally tick fit. Tix VVs? Yeah. I don't normally tix VVs. <laughs> I don't normally fix TVs. Are you born in Birmingham? No, I was brought up in Dudley. I was born in Wesley Hospital in Dudley. Yeah, I don't normally fix TVs, but it's family, so... I'll do them for family, but... Not for, not for the general public. He's cheap, but he works. <laughs> yeah. Who's welcome? Matt Hall's Gaming. Thank you for subscribing with Twitch. I appreciate that. Thank you, mate. Rob, hello. Your queen got the COVID. Yeah, I think so. I don't really follow the royals, to be honest. They don't... They don't really interest me. I don't think one person should have that much power. Quit fixing TVs because when you tell them you can't fix it, or got or get the parts of them to leave it and never pick it up. Yeah, I've had a few like that as well. Uh, mind you, that said, I mean that wouldn't be so bad for me because I've got a contact who exports them to Kenya, uh, and he buys them off you as long as the screen is good. He buys them off you. Like the 65 inch, if I can't fix that, like if it's not the backlight, I suspect it's the backlight, but if it's not the backlight and it's something I can't fix, then I could take it to my uh, Kenyan contact and get uh, 50 quid for it. So, but it's better to strip it down and sell the panel. Better to strip it down and sell the panel. Right, okay, so all being well with this. All being well. The microscope should just work. Should just work. The key word there is should. Let's see if it does. I'm talking I'm talking about the capture card. Let me just get it in focus first. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, mate. Uh, don't know if it's in focus on the camera, but let's find out. Microscope. Hey! It's not focused, but hey! We got it. All right, let's get that in focus. There we go. Oh, 94% on a hype train. One can. And... Danny Wonders, thank you for Twitch Prime. Four minutes to complete level one hype train on Twitch. If anyone wants to head over to Twitch and link your Amazon Prime and get that hype train complete. There's a link in the video description. I did an LED backlight repair with 3 volt LEDs, turned out there were 6 volts and cut them all. Hmm, how does that work? Do you mean that was 3 volts and you, you used 6 volt ones or... Bridger has completed the hype train. Thank you, mate. Level 1 complete. On to level 2 if anyone wants to complete level 2. <laughs> hype, 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 hype. I don't even know what the hype train does. Why is my eyepiece not in focus? What the? Right, now that's in focus. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> Pad puller, yes. Someone really sl slacking on that connector. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so um, people, people linking the Amazon Prime to Twitch and subbing with Twitch Prime really does help me out. I really do appreciate it. How many have we got on Twitch now? 
Let's have a look. How many do we have? 91 Prime subscribers on Twitch. Well, not 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 Prime subscribers. We've got 91 subscribers. Nice. So close to 100. That's awesome. Oh, people are so careless when taking these apart. It's not. It's not so much that they're careless, really. I think. I think there's a major design flaw in these. Like the, the cable's too short. The zipper. Thank you for Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. Subscribe for three months. Nice. Yeah, that's the only problem as well. People have to resubscribe manually when they use Twitch Prime. I'd probably have about 200 now if, if they set up automatic resubs. Okay, I wonder what that noise was then, but it's... Um, <coughs> it's my power supply fan kicking in. I use the power supply for the camera. Is this one of Wayne's? <laughs> 50% on level 2 hype train. We've never completed a level 2 hype train. But yeah, if you've got Amazon Prime, it doesn't cost anything to actually link it. Bridger has gifted a tier 1 sub to Cosworth. Thank you, mate. Cosworth, welcome to the... Oh, hello, Luna. <laughs> welcome to the uh, sub club. Thank you for the gifted, mate. And Org as well, thank you for playing. Level 2 complete. Nice. <laughs> Joined your Twitch thing, thank you, mate. Hello, Luna. Everyone want, anyone want some kitty cam? Well, right, let's move this out of the way for you. Go on, walk all over the customer board. No, don't. <laughs> Hello, Luna. She just jumped up on my table. Don't you dare get comfortable there. Don't you dare get comfortable there, Kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty. <laughs> oh, you just sit there cleaning yourself in front of hundreds of people. <laughs> Can I have my table back now, please, Kito? Show your ass in front of people. Why not? Yeah, there you go. Lift the tail up, show your ass, and then just walk off. Go on, then jump down. Come on, jump down. Go on. Good girl. Oh, dear. Kids. <laughs> Animals are honest. They are, mate, yeah. <laughs> nice. I love the kitty. She's quite funny, to be fair. What happened to my light now? Luna, what you done to my light? <laughs> Luna. She was actually called Oreo and we changed... Uh left you to and watch annoying Twitch ads to use our site pro sub. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Mine's not available yet. No worries, mate. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Mr. Wes, thank you for subscribing at tier one, mate. Seventy six percent with two minutes left on the uh, on level two hype train. Level 3 hype train, shit, nice. Dude. Very nice. Damn, level 3 hype train. Do you reckon we can complete all five levels? Who reckons we can complete all five levels on Twitch? I don't shill Twitch enough. I should shill more. See, everyone said when I... Carl, thank you, mate. Carl's just completed level three. Nice. Gifting a sub to Mojo Mojo, man. Nice. The left padded ground. It is, mate, yeah. He stole Lewis Rossman's cat. <laughs> well, the name was Oreo, and we changed it because of... Specifically because Lewis Rossman's got one called Oreo that looks the same. 
So we specifically changed it. She's asleep down by the side of me now. Bless her. She'll stay there all night now. Well, until I move to get another console, and then I assume she'll move. She'll probably follow me downstairs and get me to let her out. She don't know whether she's coming or going at the minute, though, and I think she's... Well, I think it's because she's pregnant, because... Like, she, this is out of character for Luna. She doesn't... She's not really a fussy cat. Like, she don't... She don't really come to you for attention. She just likes to do her own thing, if that makes sense. What do you say, sir? Yeah, especially when the kids are around. Like, she runs away from the kids, especially Cody. You don't like the kids. You're nice. Mind you, I can't really argue. <laughs> what? Well, I can't say I don't because I'm taking Ethan. Why did you drop him off at school? Ethan's going to London for two days with the school. Ethan's the eldest. What do you say, sir? Buffering again? I don't say shouldn't be. Hang on, who's... who's dude, Megazoid, thank you, man. Megazoid gives you five subs. Nice. Mr. Wes gifting a sub. Thank you, mate. And Wankan gifting a sub as well. Thank you. Guys, you're all legends. And that is 40% on level five. Dude. I've never completed the hype train. That is awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I wasn't even paying attention. Sorry. I haven't got sound alerts on either. What's up, Joey? Yeah, Luna's curled up in front of me, uh, the side of me there. Quite cute. Right, so what I'm doing here, I, th I think I should probably explain what I'm doing here. I'm just exposing these pads so I can run some jumper wires to them. Because the pads are not going to be long enough to resolder this connector on and these ground pads at the side as well what i need to do with these is i need to be able to reinforce the connector so i tend to use a little bit of solder wick to recreate the pad and make a nice strong bond slag boys thank you and bridge with the thousand bits thank you guys i really appreciate that I got a thousand bits. That's like ten dollars, isn't it? Thank you, dude. Please tell me bits count towards the hype train. We are ninety percent complete on the hype train. Ninety percent complete. One more Twitch Prime would probably do it. One more Twitch Prime would probably do it. They do. Nice. Thank you. I really appreciate it. That wick was the best idea I ever gave you. No. No, no. Actually, I don't know if one would do it. I'm not sure. Maybe two. No, no, no. The wick was my idea. I know you're cheap, but I didn't think you was that cheap that you have to steal other people's ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. We have 54 seconds on the hype train. 54 seconds. Hey, it's complete. WR Shooter. Thank you, man. All five levels complete. I don't know what the hype train does, but thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And Nick Kennedy with 500 bitties. Yay! Thank you, mate. 60, that's all I've got. Thank you, 60 as well. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. I would subscribe by Twitch. Thank you, mate. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, like, <clears throat> a lot of people don't realise that if they're paying for Amazon Prime, they get, get it completely free and it does support. But you can only use it on one creator, so you have to use it wisely. And you have to resub, resub every month as well to be able to keep it renewed. But 
like it really does help out. Like I mean, even I, mean, I know it's only, I know it's only two dollars and fifty. Two two. <laughs> yeah, I know it's only two dollars and fifty. But when you think how many people subscribe or how many people have actually got Amazon Prime, like it's it's massive. Like it, it does make a big big difference. Twitch, Twitch for me pays about a hundred and fifty pounds a month. Um, it's around about a hundred and fifty pound per month. Um, so yeah, um, it's uh, it's a big difference. Like that hundred and fifty pound a month. That's well, actually no, that's three months internet now because I've just downgraded my uh, internet. Leave your ad blocker off. Made you rethink your actions. Yeah, I I don't use an ad blocker either. Um, sometimes I'll occasionally get fed up of ads and I use YouTube Premium. I'll sign up to a month of YouTube Premium, but then I mean the creator still gets paid for that. So, um, so yeah, I'll try Premium. Yeah, YouTube Premium is pretty good value for money. What I have noticed though, and I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, if anyone's got premium, because my I, I got given a, a month family trial and I've just signed up to it just for the sheets and giggles. Coming back to YouTube. Thank you, mate, I appreciate it. Thank you for subbing. Um Yeah, what what a lot of people might not realise is after you end a YouTube premium subscription, what you'll find is YouTube will really push and add every single video for their YouTube for their prime. And I've noticed you get more ads as well. I noticed you get more ads after you've uh, after you've had a trial expire. So I think they do it deliberately. I think it's psychological. I think they treat it like it's uh, psychological. Well, I got, or rather, try and try and get you psychologically rather, if you know what I mean. Really getting fed up. They, they've increased the ads. YouTube have increased the three unskippable ads. And we don't have a choice but to turn that, but to leave that on. Um, if if you're monetized, like you can turn ads off, you can turn ads off, but obviously that's what pays the bills, that's what keeps the lights on. But um, you know, you can turn ads off, but other than that, you can't choose whether to show one or three ads. YouTube make that choice, not us, sadly. And I've noticed lately that they started showing three ads with two of them being uns unskippable. I'm just going to tin this. Tin these pads. Yeah, two of them lately are unskippable and one is... Um, what do you call it? One is skippable, generally. Uh, but I think YouTube are deliberately trying to force people over to YouTube Premium, which is ruining the experience. Um, basically, the way YouTube see it is they get a lot more money by people signing up to Premium than they do by people watching ads. Like if they could get everyone on Premium, that's ultimately better for them long term. There's only so many tampon ads one can put up with. <laughs> well, that isn't isn't that a testament to what you're a testament to what you're what you're watching on YouTube? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I guess some ads about some right random shit. To be honest, I, I don't know what it is, but I guess some ads about some right random shit. But then again, Cody watches a lot of YouTube shorts on my um, on my account. Right, so what I'm going to do now is, first of all, I don't want to waste any solder, so I'll just <laughs> use a piece of tweezer. Use a tweezer. But I'm just going to tin. Hang on, that opposite. What the hell? Shit, sorry guys, I didn't re didn't even realise my microscope's back to front. There you go. Sorry about that. New new capture card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some wick. Uh, 
and I'm basically going to recreate a new pad. So that's going to be for somewhere to anchor to on the connector. It's going to give some give somewhere to anchor to. It should work nicely. There we go. <laughs> I've heard for a solitaire game. Oh god. Well they do they do serve interest based ads, so that kind of makes sense, sort of thing, if you were playing a solitaire game. I haven't played solitaire for a for a long while. Right, well there we go. So there's one so there's one restore pad at least. So yeah, Wiki is an excellent absorber of solder, which is why I use it for an anchor point. And then just cut off the excess, there we go. Sweet, that'll work. I have enough solder to last me a lifetime. I've got a fair bit as well. Pad pulley, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so next I'm going to just tin some jumper wire. This is 0.17mm. This is the stuff I get from microwaves. It's perfect for this sort of stuff. Absolutely perfect. So there's jumper number one. Several times a minute to a couple. Of, several to, several minutes. My ads keep coming several minutes to a couple of hours long. Um, I'm assuming the the couple of hour ones you can skip. The longest I've had that I couldn't that I could skip was uh, that I couldn't skip was 30 seconds. Right, this flux is starting to burn away. So unless I want to put some more down, then I'm going to be pretty quick now. Yeah, the longest I've had that I couldn't skip was um, 30 seconds. I've run ads on YouTube before to grow this channel. Didn't work. Cost me 50 quid. I gained mm. absolutely nothing from it. And... Finally, we're going to do the ground. And one thing you'll notice is I'm leaving a little bit of an overhang on these. That's always when I put conformal coating down, you've got somewhere to bite with when I put the conformal coating on. There we go. And done. Your yeah, vault's over 25 years old. <laughs> <coughs> You have rolls of solder, they're, an old, they're older than some of the viewers. That's crazy. Right, remelt the flux. Um, and I'm going to grab the power supply connector off the power supply. Or rather off the cable. I need to prep this first. Okay, so that's there. So you can see the damage. <laughs> you 
you have a roller solder nine years older than me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like the people are you got people younger than them in the chat. Uh I'm good, thank you. Uh Fair truth, is he? Um is that how you pronounce your name, mate? Sorry if it's not. Um yes, I'm using the um the Sony cam now. It works absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm going to be buying another one soon. I've got a load of stuff which I need to take to CEX. I'm going to use the money towards another camera, towards another Sony. Because I, I want, I want all optical cameras for. Even for face cam, I want optical cam. Right, that was the torn pad which I've just removed off there, by the way. So, that bit on there is just the old solder, so I'm not worried about that. Did I manage to get the switch fixed? Um, I believe I did. I'm almost certain that I... That it was a bad Joy-Con rail, uh, a dodgy, dodgy batch of Joy-Con rails. Um, so the problem is, I recorded that video, you know, like two months ago. That's the problem. I, I filmed it two months ago, uh, and I just never got a chance to edit it. Well, I did get a chance to edit it, but other vi other videos. So the way I do it is usually I'll do them as I as I film them. I'll usually edit them, but then. I'll do certain videos and I'll be like, well, that's going to perform a lot better than this video sort of thing. Uh, so I'll film a video and then I'll film a better video and I'll be like, right, I can release this better video first because it's uh, it's a better video. Uh, and then they end up they end up backlogged and I'll never <laughs> never get around to editing them. I've got about I mean, something like two terabytes of unedited footage. I've got I've got enough content to last me a while. Let's put it that way. I don't mind releasing older videos though. If they're interesting videos, I'll release them. Uh, right, there we go. I'm down to the last bit in this tub of flux. That's why I'm using it without a nozzle. <coughs> it's always the left side, yes. Another broken 5 volt foot port, yep. I'd love a cheap repaired switch. Well, I've got one which I'm taking to CEX. Um, or which I'm planning on taking to CEX because I'll get a £140 voucher um, well £135 voucher something like that if someone's willing to match what I'll get on a voucher in cash then I'll sell it to them it'll have Joy-Cons if someone's willing to match it in cash and then pay for posting as well then I'll sell it to them instead of CEX um, so what I'll get on voucher at CEX, I'm happy to sell for in cash. Uh, but otherwise I'm losing money and I, I can't do it. So I can't do it any cheaper than that. Because I'll technically be losing money. Because I'll be using the voucher to put towards, um, more cameras. And more equipment. I'm pressing down on this connector while I'm soldering the sides. Clean it first. Uh, clean what first, mate? It's, it's been cleaned. If you mean the flux, I will get cleaned off afterwards. It'll look okay once it's done. What the hell was that? It's not Luna. Luna's asleep next to me. Oh, that's a complete pad that's just been lifted, so there's not really a lot I can do about how that looks. I just realised I didn't put conformal coating on this. 
it's not absolutely required. There we go. Mr. Wayne, welcome. Yes, 620 quid, ridiculous. I don't agree with their pricing, but they are the business and they do give two year warranty on everything, so. Thank you, Robert, I appreciate that, mate. Um, yeah, I mean, I paid uh, £170 this week for a Nintendo Switch. Uh, not for a Nintendo Switch, for a PS5 Forte. That's on the way, I should have it by Wednesday. Should have that by Wednesday and uh, I'll make a video on it and then it's going into my personal collection. I've also paid £265 for uh, the first ever Xbox Series X, which I've bought, which is 40. Apparently, it's just no video output, so I'm hoping it's just a HDMI port, and that is going to be my personal collection as well. And then I'll just need a Xbox um, Series S 40, and I'll, I'll have a repaired, a personally repaired, console for every generation of xbox and every every release of the xbox i'll have every single xbox out and i'll, I'll have repaired every one of them which will be awesome i'm looking for a switch oled as well i'm trying to find a switch oled to buy right let's just draw this off yeah personal collection yeah uh, see, the kids have got one, I haven't, so. I mean, I don't really play PlayStation, but I still want one for my collection. That's not soldered properly on that middle pin. Third pin across. If it was, it wouldn't have moved like that. That third pin's not soldered. Knew it. It's all good. Jump has moved. Yeah, I've got him right now, obviously. Too quiet. Um, do you mean? Do you mean his microphones are too quiet, or...? Yeah, how did that... How did that jumper wire even come off? Yeah, I haven't come across any OLEDs. Um, I would love to get one in that... Yeah, that's just not soldering, is it? Hmm... This is how we fix that. We lift it up, look. If you lift it up. There you go. And now it's soldered. Wrap it around the pin. That works. Not happy with that joint there. To be honest. Not happy with that joint there. Do 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 do. Where's my wick gone? I want to wick that joint away. There it is. Super wick. I wanted to wick the joint away so I can put fresh leaded solder on it. That's better.
each Xbox release all personally fixed. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's something I'm planning on doing for every console. Um, I've got PS4 original. I've got to do a PS4 Slim and a PS4 Pro, but I've already got motherboards for them as well. So, um, And then the PS5 as well. Um, I've got a PS3, which I need to fix. Um, I've got a PS1 I need to fix. I haven't got a PS2 though. I haven't got a PS2 yet. But I will have. So yeah, all of my consoles are going to be personally fixed. You tend to appreciate them more. Hello, I can't read your name, but I apologise. Well, hello. Hi Phil, I'm Phil. <laughs> Welcome. Audio is very hard, mate, I agree. Uh, um, Philly, you feel as in... No, you're not. I don't think. Hang on. Uh, no, I was talking to another Phil earlier, never mind. Ah, there's the Phil for that. Phil C, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, Wayne, the reason that I said second pin wire is loose, let's have a nose. Let's see. Um, you might be right there. Why are they all not soldering tonight? These usually go... He's usually go well first time. Do, 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 do. Right, let's see if we've got a ground on there. Let me just get my multimeter. There's one way you can find out if everything's good. So if you use your multimeter in diode mode, Pop one probe on ground. Let's give a diode reading on this pin. We get 0.508, which is good. Diode reading on, the, reading on this pin, 0.001, so that is good. That's connected to ground. This pin, we get 1.886, which is normal. And that is open line, so that one's not soldered. So none of them soldered for some reason. Yep, so it's not connected. So that's how I determine if they're, uh, if they're soldered or not. I'll just use diode mode. Uh, 0.67. Perfect. Now we're connected. And that should be, yep, nice and solid. Not going anywhere. Beautiful. Don't chat, don't, don't chat shit like Phil does. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Savage. Uh, right, where did my brush go? Where did my brush go? Luna's still fast asleep next to me. <laughs> I've lost my brush now. I think I've lost the plot as well. Oh well, we'll use another one. If you can't find it first time, just use another one. Right, so you're never going to get this looking pretty, especially not, especially, shut up multimeter. You're never going to get it looking pretty, especially considering how much damage we've got to the top layer here. But it should work. I'm going to make sure that we've got no bridges across the other pins. Your plot went years ago. Yep. The PS1 guy is playing the PS3. On the backwards compatible ones, it should. Yep. 
yeah, you're never going to get it looking pretty, but it should work. And that should be nice and solid. It shouldn't go anywhere. I'm wiggling that around and it's not budging at all. Yeah, solid. Not going anywhere. Um, I don't think it's necessary to UV mask it, mate. Um, to be honest, the reason is because I mean, once these are soldered, they're not going to short out on anything. So as long as I don't have any shorts on this now, then you know it's not going to short out on anything in the future. Even if people come in messing around. Yeah. So we've got no we've got no shorts. But I don't think it's necessary to to use solder mask on them, to be honest. You can, but I think it's just a waste. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry. I would never use hot glue. I'd never use hot glue on any board, personally. But I don't think it's necessary to solder mask them. I mean, once they're, once they're on, they're on. It's solid. My PS4 needs work done. Fix a PS3. I can't tonight. I've got actual work to do, mate, and no PS3s in the queue, unfortunately. It is a waste, but it will look pretty. I don't think it will, to be honest. I, I think it will make it look worse. Uh, no, I, I can't. I, I can't be bothered to do it, to be honest. I don't think it's ne necessary at all because once it's once it's on, once it's soldered, it's like once it's soldered, it's soldered. If it's going to work, it's going to work, and if it's not, it's not. It's not like it's going to be a temporary fix. It's going to be permanent. It's very rare I do actually use solder mask on them, and I'll never have them come back. So, I only use solder mask if I've got a solder. Um, I've got hot glue, mate. I just don't use it. Um, yeah, the only time I use solder is a uh, solder mask is when I've got to go to the boyers. So, because half the pad was there, that's a big enough pad to a point where it's not gonna just snap off. Like the the jumper wire is not just gonna snap off. So I use conformal coating when it's um. I use solder mask when it's uh, when it's got a chance that it might break away. That like when it's got to go to the via instead of to what is actually technically still a pad because it was a big enough pad where the jumper wire went. Thank you for the one dollar, mate. I appreciate that. Unfortunately, I can't use it. I can't read your name, but I do appreciate the donation. Thank you, mate. I can't I can't read your name, but that's because uh, obviously it's in a different language. But I do appreciate the donation. My mate Vince special hot glue. <laughs> no, I just refuse to use hot glue on any console. On any board. Uh, or plastic weld. It is better in case it has a bumpy ride in shipping. Yeah, but if it's still not going to, like, solder mask's not going to stop the connector pulling off. If the connector's going to pull off, it's going to pull off whether there's solder mask on it or not. But you can scrape away solder mask with tweezers, so it's not going to, if it was to have a bumpy ride, then, you know, it's going it's, to, if it's going to break, it's going to break with solder mask on, with or without solder mask on. That's the thing. That's what, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, no matter whether there's solder mask on it or not. How can you work in that mess? Easy. Just unscrew things and put them there, look. It's, it's organised mess, okay? It's organised mess. Right, I need to just give this a brush down. I'll take my mic off a sec.
how many jobs you're going to do. At least three if I can tonight. Luna's still fast asleep. You should see my table. Couldn't find your toothbrush. Yeah, but... There you go. That fell on the floor. <laughs> it's organised chaos. You gotta think how much things actually get used during a repair. It's not just like you just grab your soldering iron and go to work. There's so much things that you have to use. Solder, jumper wire, solder mask, a knife, screwdrivers, uh, a toothbrush, IPA, flux. There's so many things that you have to use. Just say wick, side cutters. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. It's cleaning this console out, by the way. Yeah, see, I'll tidy my bench after each repair. Let me just put my mic back on. Um, I'll tidy the, tidy the bench after each repair. However, like, for example, I'll move the screwdrivers, I'll move the knife, I'll put the knife back in there. Like, I don't need that now, so I can't put it back. But I'm not going to put it back every time after every time I use it, because I'm going to take it back out again two seconds later. So, yeah. Most important coffee. Still doing the camera funds. Donator. Um, has someone donated? Am I still doing the camera fund? No, mate. I've already got the camera. That's what you're seeing now. Um, um, did someone donate? I haven't seen one come through. Do you love fixing so many consoles? I do, mate, yeah. I do enjoy you. McBoot, no. Oh, you know, I thought, sorry, I thought you were talking to me. Um, no, okay, it's coming up on stream elements. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out in a little while. Um, give me like five, five, ten minutes, let me just get this thing sorted and I'll sort that out. Uh, yeah, I forgot to remove it, sorry. <laughs> it's my way of scamming people. <laughs> Why do you wear a padded jacket while repairing consoles? Um, I don't know, it's, it's not the warmest up here, it's 18 degrees, so if I didn't wear a jacket, I'd be, I'd be pretty cold. Um, if I was warm, I wouldn't wear one. I'd wear a shirt. What shirt have I got on? Uh, just a random Jack and Jones one. Um, 
Yeah, I'd I'd just wear a shirt if it was uh, if it wasn't cold. But I mean, eighteen degrees isn't cold, but I would get fairly chilly sitting in one place doing nothing. Oh, the donator where you couldn't read the name for a dollar. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got you. Yeah. yeah. Now I understand what you mean. Have you ever had repairs called Catch on Fire? Um, no, I haven't. Um, computer boot has. <laughs> I haven't personally. Um, I've had my BGA machine catch fire during test runs. Um, so my BGA rework machine, I've had that catch fire during test runs. That's uh, do, 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 do that thing just there. Yeah, I've had that catch fire when flux has dripped onto the um, the plates. Right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This guy got some balls. <laughs> Right, some nice fresh MX4. And we have absolutely zero dropped frames tonight, which is fantastic. So I might be able to start streaming in 4K again. Well, actually, I can't because I need, the, I need to buy a new microscope camera. I need a new 4K microscope camera before I can do that. I don't really want to upscale from 1080p to 4K. Quality would look shit. Hot gun is usually used to hide a bad soldering job. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I've personally never used a hot gun on... Um, like I've used it to hold plastics together, but never to, never to hold a connector onto a board. Just a drop stream. That is true. He said that it'll happen. Probably. No, I've. I think I've fixed all of the network issues with by. Um, da, 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 yeah, by moving moving cables around, moving them away from main electrical electrical cables, that sort of thing. And we now have zero drop frames. I've actually modified my internet package. Um, I was paying £119 a month and now I'm only paying um, £52 a month but I've got rid of the TV from the package and the landline as well so I've just got broadband only now and I'm paying £52 a month for gigabit broadband um, mainly consoles yes that's, that's mainly what I worked on is that a PS4 the PS4 Pro yeah Yeah, I'll sort the uh, I'll sort the uh, what do you call it? Text? That donation link on the Twitch bot on the chat bot. Who are you with? Virgin Media, mate. Now 119 pound I was paying, not 190. 119 pound a month I was paying. Bear in mind that was for gigabit internet, two TV boxes, a landline, and an unlimited SIM card. But I've dropped it all down to just um, just internet only now. I've even got rid of the SIM card. That's that's 1100 megabits per second on the download. Right, well that that screw threads knackered. Nothing I can do. Not without changing the mid frame. Nothing I can do. Yeah, £119 for gigabit. 77 for phone, broadband, TV and mobile. Uh, what do you get on that, mate? What connection have you got on that? What's that? Is that the 500? Oh, Sky. Oh, yeah. You, you're probably getting, what, 70 megabits? 75 megabits a second, something like that. 
Yeah, I can't. I honestly can't justify going with any other company apart from Virgin Media because none of them can compete with the speeds. The best you can get is 150 megabits a second. 1080p is fine streaming on my 4K TV. Yeah, I'm on 1080 at the minute. Ultra fast broadband. Mm. Um, I do sometimes well off that. It depends what I've got available. I don't actually know at the minute though. I only pay a tenner for one gig for gig one. For one gig. The UK is fairly expensive. In terms of the UK, that's really cheap. Where are you? Somewhere Sweden or something? I know Sweden's got good internet. Um yeah, the in, in terms of the UK, fifty two pounds a month for gigabit is really, really good. It's max eighty down, twenty up. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh random reviews, yeah. Um you know, you're getting 70, 80 megabits a second on Sky. Scotland? You get gigabit, 10 pounds for gigabit in Scotland. Hell. Spectrum in the States, 400 megabit, 14.99 a month. Okay, nice. Nice. That's not bad. See, they said to me, they was like, right, we can downgrade you to 52, to 52 pounds a month and give you 500 megabits a second. I was like, uh, that's a little bit high. And he was like, oh, hang on. Sorry, no, that's £52 a month for gigabit. It's the same price as the 500 megabits per second one. I was like, well, keep me on the gigabit then. Work for a telecoms company. Ah, ah see, now the secrets are coming out. <laughs> it's the cable guy. 76 down, 18 up, and I pay 50 a month. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's like £52 a month for gigabit. You really can't grumble. You really can't grumble at £52 a month. I'm more than happy at paying £52 a month. I've been with Virgin Media for... The six years that I've been in this address, and then for five years before that. Um, so, you know, it's uh, it's always been reliable for me, Virgin Media. They can't compete. You have a wisp and you get 66 down and 10 up. Oh, 10 millisecond ping. That's not bad for if you're using a wisp. That's not bad. I provide internet to my next door neighbour for free. I'll give her access to my Wi-Fi. She's got one of my... Um, I've got some pods. Um, I've got some mesh Wi-Fi pods, and I'll give her access to them. So she's got a couple of pods in her house. And so I over the road as well. Next door gets 300, and over the road gets like 100. I don't charge them for it. I used to. I don't anymore. 220 with TV for $45. That's not too bad, for, especially for LA. I know most of the US is pretty expensive. Right, I'm going to go balls to the wall and just put this back together. Why not? Let's go balls to the wall and put it back together fully. I should have asked for a little discount. Yeah, I should have done, shouldn't I? They're not going to give me one. I mean, actually, to be fair, if you look on Virgin Media's website, it's £62 for new customers for gigabit. New customers is £62 a month for broadband only. So I am actually getting a good deal, a really good deal. So maybe there is some sort of uh, loyal customer discount there. Because if you look on their website, it is more expensive on the website. So I don't know how I managed to get it for 52 I told him. So I told him straight. I was like, "Listen, I'm not being rude, but you know, I've paid 119 pound a month for 18 months. It's a lot of money. Can't afford it." I said, "If you don't, if you don't give me a better deal, then you know, I'm going elsewhere." I wouldn't have gone elsewhere. I'd have signed up to a Virgin Media business. I'd have took the 500 megabits per second business package, and. Uh, and then I'd have cancelled this one because I was out of contract. There was nothing I could have done. I just took out a business line and then just done that instead. 
I actually do want now. Now that I'm paying less, I do want to take out a separate business loan, one that no one else has got access to. Um, I know that seems spiteful, but it's not. At the end of the day, my my internet is a bit more critical when I'm um when I'm streaming than you know, for example, the kids' consoles. So I do want my own internet package without anyone having access to it. I might get like a three hundred down or something. On a business package. Wondering what I can do to check my PS4 HDMI as it's not displaying on my monitor. There's not really a lot you can do to check it unless you've got uh, HDMI testing tools. Um, yeah, not really much to be honest, mate. Other than send it to someone for repair if you if you if you're not able to repair it yourself. Oh shit, I need the power supply in. So if you're not able to repair it yourself, then you best to just send it into someone for repair. Jaden, thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Oh, I did, I did, I did ring retention, mate. Yeah, eighty-five dollars. That's about the same, isn't it? About fifty-two dollars. About fifty-two British pounds. I'm sure that's about the same. Can I use a multimeter to check power going to the board? Um, you can check. You can use it to check for five volt, but you can't use it to check for data. You need an oscilloscope for that. To check for HDMI data, so you'd need a oscilloscope. Managed to download a hundred gigabyte game in less than an hour. I did that yesterday. Actually, I downloaded like four hundred gigabyte of files onto my Xbox One X. Retention is crap tier two and tier three. I was on tier two. I, I called tier. I spoke to tier two, um, and they managed to give me a, a decent deal. I'm happy with the deal, honestly. Right, is that the tube one? Yes. Okay, let me replace that. See, look, organized chaos. I know where everything is. So I just went straight to a replacement screw. That's better. Screws in nicely now. Yeah, it's organised chaos. And they're still charged for the rest of his contract. Uh, what's that about? Finish with me telling them to take him to court. Oh, okay, you thought, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they never take it to court. They send it to debt collectors, but you never hear anything off it. You know, if you do cancel your contract while you're still in contract. Uh, but I wasn't in contract, so I could have legally left. Well, there's nothing I could have done. Uh, if you're capable of repairing it yourself, I would definitely recommend repairing it yourself, yeah. At least give it a go. You know, if that's, if that's what you're comfortable doing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell anyone not to repair their own stuff. I think it's great when people do. Yes, it might lose me some money short term, but you know, it also allows people to save money. Well, it wouldn't directly lose me money. It needs to lose some technician somewhere money, maybe. Right. We're going balls to the wall and putting everything back together, and then we're going to try and see if it works. There you go. Sweet. PS3 got picked up and on the way to you. Nice, mate. No worries. Um, yeah, that's sweet, mate. Cheers for that. There's two of them, isn't there? It'll likely be sometime towards the weekend when I get to look at them, mate. Sometime towards the weekend. E there we go. Okay, we've got a disc in the drive. One needs a reball. <laughs> okay, disc drive eject works. 
What do we have? Modern Warfare. Right, let me just load up. Um, I need studio mode because I need to log in before I can. I need to log in before I can show on the screen. So bear with me for one minute. One moment. Controller. Hmm. Come on, controller sync. I hate this controller sometimes. It don't sync first time sometimes. Turn off then. No. No, bit of a delay. Right, orange light. There we go. It's this controller that... Look, that's what it's a test controller. Right, new user. Play as a guest. Do not sign in. And there we go. Sweet. Now I can switch over to game capture. There we go. And settings. I don't know if it's going to display in 4K on the capture card. Send and screen, video output. It's on automatic. Yeah, it's okay. So let me just. Deactivate and reactivate it. Let's see if it wants to pick up 4K. Okay, yeah, so it's only displaying in 1080p for some reason on the capture card. Probably because I've got it through a HDCP remover. But I'll test it on... I'll test it on the TV in a second to make sure 4K works. Uh, does it recognise the game? Yes, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Does it load the game? Oh dear. Some O rings. I'm not sure what you mean there. Every few months it needs a fan cleaning. Hmm. Do you sell this console? No, it belongs to a customer. There we go. Cool. Right, I'm going to test it on the TV quickly. Make sure we get 4K. And then we're good to go. So, bear with me for a second. Because like I said, I do need to make sure that I get 4K outputs. Uh, Alright, so that is going to be HDMI 1. Right. HDMI 1. Boom. We do indeed. So, side cam. Going to be a little bit awkward here, but you'll be able to see that it's displaying in 4K. There we go. 3840 by 2160. Happy days. Yeah, that's all working. Job is done, and we can call this one good. Boom. Yeah, buddy. Sweet. Another job done. Hopefully another happy customer. Let's just wait for it to shut down before, before I unplug the HDMI cable.
Oh shoot, I need to I need to switch back to a normal input. There we go. Sweet. I feel it's still there. What's still there, mate? Put an Xbox in an X put a PS4 in an Xbox shell. <laughs> oh god. Many provided cappy data. Yeah, that's that's the uh that's the problem, yeah. Right, ladies and gents, this one is done. I'll be back in a minute with another one to work on. And uh Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we can get another one working. What's been going on on you just joined the stream? Uh not a lot, mate. Just worked on the uh, PS4 Pro. Power supply connector, nice and simple. Happy days. Uh yeah. No worries, Mr. Bridger. Thank you for hanging there, mate. I appreciate it. Xbox One S, that reboots itself on graphics intensive games. Uh, probably the RAM. Probably the RAM, if I'm being honest. Um, I've got one just down by the side of me, which I did last week, and that was the RAM. Um, so, yeah. Right, back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. More repairs after the break. I'll tell you what, actually, before I do that, let me take a picture of where Luna is right now. I'll show you, but I can't, can't get a camera to point down there. Check that out. <laughs> Do you know how to sleep? No. That's where she is. On the floor, curled up. Kitty. Yeah. Fast asleep on the floor down by the side of me. Right, back in a minute, guys and girls.
Right, there we go. No, the stream didn't freeze. It's uh, it's your crappy new PC PC build. It broke on you. <laughs> no, I'm messing. That PC looks pretty sweet, mate. It is a YouTube video waiting to happen. Well, it's never gonna happen. Right, next unknown console for the night. Yeah, Luna's still sat. Well, lay down by the side of me. Have we got a text message off? Rats, I missed it. Oh, I wish I'd have seen that. Joey just text sent me a picture of a PS4, a PS5 box. Faulty. Well, hopefully someone on the stream got that. What was wrong with it? Oh. <laughs> boots back to my random boots back. Boot back to dashboard, yeah, that's that's an SSD fault. I would prefer if you use my nickname, it's Sweetheart. Okay, Sweetheart, I'll call you Sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. I'll call you Sweetheart. This is how good these mics are. YouTube comes up, audio bitrate is zero when I'm not talking. All these PS5 faults putting me off getting one. I've just bought one faulty. SSD faults are repairable. Not as far as I'm aware, no. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Not a clue what's wrong with this one. But we'll find out, I'm sure. Right. I'm just going to grab a pair of lead. I'll need the one from my power supply for now. I need to plug it back in now because the camera's connected to it. Let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with this one. Shall we? Sorry about the rustling. That's my bad. Let's see. Okay, it turns on. Two seconds, then off. Hmm, it's a blue light of death. Hmm. And it's not a power supply blue light of death. There's a hair in it, what the hell? Dude. Dude. Come on, dude. There's a, a hair in it. Well, you can't even see that, but there's... Really long hair. Yeah, that's not the power supply. That's not the power supply. Very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. That's going to be the power supply. Okay, we've got a screw missing. Yeah, that's the wrong screwdriver. <clears throat> Where's my other one gone? D doop. There. That's a bloody long pube. <laughs> Hassan, welcome. Hello. <laughs> the blonde cheek smash a poor PS4. Probably. Yeah, that's not going to be a faulty power supply. Okay, this is the NVA 001.
I know that based on the plate. You kind of get used to them. Never seen blood on a PS4 Pro. I see it quite regular, to be honest. Well, I might as well take all these torque bits out. Okay, and where's that Wi Fi antenna? Not even connected, look. No, that one. Someone's been messing. Someone's been messing. Two second blood. Paul Daniels is in the chat. Hello, Paul Daniels. How's it going, mate? Everyone go and check out Paul Daniels. Right, that screws. Oh, good. If someone can post a link to Paul's channel, that would be awesome. Right, let's hope that someone's just messed around with this who doesn't know what they're doing and hope that it's the power supply prongs. That's, that's not the right screw. Yeah, let's hope that someone's just wedged the two power supply prongs in together. Oh, come on. Right. Okay, well, that screw's not going to cause any damage. I'm not going to put that back, though. I'll replace it. Let's have a look. And no such luck. It's not. It's not the fact that the power supply has been wedged in. So what happens sometimes is people take these apart. Um, you can't, mate. But the best thing, it won't let it won't let members post. It won't let viewers post links. But you can post an, uh, an invite them uh, an invite invite uh, um, item number. Um, yeah, so what some people will do is I'll take it apart for cleaning. It looks like this has been cleaned. Um, and they'll basically wedge these two pins together, and that causes a short on the 12 volt line. These pins here are a 12 volt connection, and it causes a short on the 12 volt line, and that, that, that basically causes a two second blood. But that's not the case here. Or at least it doesn't appear to be. I'm going to try. Well, I'm going to hope that I've got another power supply, to be honest. The problem is, there's like four different power supplies to these. And I don't know if I've got another one. I don't know if I've got one. I'll have a look. Let me just take my mic off. I don't want to give everyone a headache. Dusty. I'm not sure if it works. I think it works. Okay, let's just see what happens. Mm 
Okay, we've got no power at all with that power supply. Oh, damn it, I unplugged the friggin' ribbons. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Because I'm an idiot, idiot. I unplugged the power supply, uh, the power button and eject button ribbons. Oh, damn it. I haven't got the light ribbon in as well. That might help. Yeah, it's still two second blood. Alright. Still a two second blood with another power supply. As far as I know, this power supply works. So, yeah. Actually, what we can do is, in a minute, we can test that. We can test that in a minute and see if it puts out 12 volts, but I need to get this plate off first before I can do that. And I've just realised as well, this has been destroyed. The Wi-Fi connector's damaged on that. Hang on, what's that? Was that me that's just done that? No way that was me that's just done that. No, because it was stuck under here. Uh, oh, I'm still zoomed in. Shoot. Sorry, guys. No way I've just done that. Damage that Wi-Fi connector. Was that 